so hello guys welcome back to another video uh today's video is going to be uh, this, um in today's video i'm just going to be kind of going over how i make my trading cards uh for my trading card uh my trading card game called elementals uh here are some of the artworks these are uh these are just artworks and designs like kind of like almost doodles for some of the cards uh, here's some sneak peeks on some cards that might eventually be released i really like this one i think i'm gonna do this one uh maybe today I don't know, but we got some pretty cool artwork in there. Um, and here is my little deck box, and which I put, I store my uh, some of my cards in here. This is the back. That looks kind of weird, but here's a few of the cards. There's three. I just made these three today. Uh, we have Antidote. It's a common creature. It's kind of hard to see if it, because of the dark gray, but I like the cool like purple glow around the outside that looks cool along with the mountain background and then we have poison if you antidote you kind of have to go with poison and then and that's another common creature uh antidote is slightly stronger than poison and then we have the cube of rubik we have a nice ultraviolet kind of purple background i did kind of put the purple inside of here a little bit on accident but it's a rare creature that's why it's got 110 health so there's a couple things i just want to go over and show in this video um, it's, it's almost kind of like a update video. I mean, it's not really because this is my first video on the channel, but I'm going to be making a card. Um, and this is just, I think we fit cardstock is my paper. Um, and I just use a Pokemon card. Uh, I just use a random Pokemon card to like trace onto a piece of cardstock. And then I can fit nine cards on, on a sheet of, on one sheet of the cardstock. And if that's Pokemon card size. And then uh, I just made this template today. This is my uh, kind of like my design for the cards. And then you can see if I grab one of these, you can see how that kind of from the design to the actual card. So I'm going to be going from start to finish uh, one of the cards uh, in this video. And I'll again kind of some little updates. So let's start doing it. Okay, so the sort of, like, the first thing that I usually do, this is a light box, so I would turn on the light box. It might get a little dark, but I turn on the light box, and this is my template card. And then I take a blank card, and then just layer it over, because it's the same exact size. And then it's kind of like connect the dots, and I just draw little dots. There's just a few little dots, and the dots are like sort of the edges and corners um, of the card. And then what I do is grab my ruler, it's just like a sort of triangle ruler and this is just I like this one because it's nice and small um, and then what I do is I just draw the lines and sort of connect connect the dots Ooh. I'll probably skip through uh, through this part so you can say so don't take up so much of your time so I don't mess up or anything but it is pencil so if I do mess up I can erase it easily and as far as a specific pencil I just use this Bic number no. 7 mechanical pencil sometimes I use just normal wooden pencils other times I don't I just find mechanical pencils easier because I don't have to sharp sharpen them I just push and then more lead comes out and it's also a lot skinnier so I just connect all the dots and then you have from your template card all the way over here and it looks nice and look almost identical so this is the template uh, and this is the new card that I'm about to fill in so after that um, I take whoa there goes my pegboard but after that, I take um, some fine liners, and I just have these microns, uh, micron little fine liners. I have a set of three. I have 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 0 0.3. So the smallest I have is 0 0.1, and then the largest I have is 0.5. And then I usually use 0 0.1 to 2. draw over the lines like if you're confident a little bit more confident than i am uh, in your fine lighting skills you can just uh you can just draw the lines from the dots and then just draw the lines with the ink 
I don't want to do that just in case I mess up so that I have something actually to trace on. Um, but if you're confident, you don't even have to use the pencil. Get through this part. And after I'm done with the fine lining process, you can see it's a little bit darker. Uh, there is still some a little imperfections, like the pencil is still showing through a little bit. So usually what I do is I just go over and erase all of the lines. And that one's a little bit skinny. I'm gonna redo this one real quick. There we go. And then, uh, sometimes I don't do things exactly in that order. Sometimes what I do is I just uh, sketch it. So it's like this, I still haven't inked it. Um, and then I sketch the actual artwork and then I ink everything at once. Um, but sometimes I don't. And then usually what I do after I ink that is I go and grab some of my alcohol markers. They just, here I usually, I, and then I just color this little square with the nice cool gray. And then that's really all I use that for. And then what I do after that is I go ahead and draw a, a box, just a rough box with pencil where the artwork is actually going to be. Like this. And then um, I write the name of the card. Um, this one's gonna be Dynamite. And I think there's gonna be like a second version that might like evolve from this one or something. But this is Dynamite. And I think I'm gonna make this one a I think I'm going to make this one another common. Most of the cards are common. I mean, common is a common thing. This one's going to have, um, I feel like 90, 70, 90 and 70 and 80. Uh, 70, 80 and 90 are the, like, the basic three um, health points, kind of, the basic three HPs. But I'm going to go ahead and do 80, So I don't usually do 80 very often, but... So dynamite and HP is 80, and it is a common creature. So the creature army or element just goes up in this corner, and then the rarity just goes down here. So common, rare, ultra rare, or epic. And then we can get on uh, almost, almost, almost. I like doing the text first because the text is kind of like the boring part, and then I can actually get on to drawing the card, which is more of the fun part. Um, but the text is just basically the attacks, um, and I think this one, as an attack, I think I'm just going to put blow up, and then that'll do, that'll do 90 damage. Bombs are dangerous. And then I think I'm going to put defuse. There's another one, which is going to do like 50 damage. That's more of a weak attack. So we have blow up and defuse as the two attacks. And if we set that aside, uh, we can get on to the artwork, which is my favorite part. Um, so the artwork, this is, I think this is my little doodle. Uh, this is going to be the artwork for dynamite. So I'm just going to set that right there as kind of like a reference. So we have sort of a box, and I'll, um, I'm going to switch over to time lapse for this, so I don't use so much of your time. Okay, and then after I, oop, after I have the sketch, um, I did, uh, I didn't draw it exactly to the, I guess, template uh, image, uh, just because I didn't have enough space to do a the line coming up here, I had to just flop it over to down here. But after I've done the sketch, I just lightly erase it. Sometimes I draw a little bit too hard. Most of the time I don't, but sometimes I do, so I just lightly erase it. So then I can do the inking process again. I'm gonna go ahead and use point three here. And then I'm gonna put this part on time lapse again.
And then after after I do the inking, um, I just go ahead and erase it again so that you don't see all of the lines underneath. And then um, I'm just gonna skip right through it. I'm not gonna do like a time lapse or anything, but I'm just gonna go ahead and ink the lettering real quick. Okay, so bad news, I'm not sure if you can see, but uh, not only did I bend the tip a little bit, I'm still not sure if you can see, my camera won't focus, but not only did I bend the tip of my marker, ah, focus, there you go. Not only did I bend the tip of my marker, but mar my marker also ran out of ink. So now it's not working. So that's in the trash now. So now I have to switch on to another one. Okay. So once I have done the lettering, the card is starting to come together. So there's one more step that I usually do before we get to the, my favorite part at least, um, is the actual coloring part. There's still one more step that I usually do before that. And that is just use a Sharpie and I just go over all of the border right here with just black. I think the, like the different shades of gray and the black and everything, I think that just adds like depth to the card. So you don't have to add the black. I just uh, like the black as a little nice touch. Um, you can use like colors. You can do like a gradient. I know people do gradients. So, there's lots of different options you can do. So after I do the black outline, it's starting to really, really look like one on the trading cards and it's starting to look really, really nice. So then the last, the final and my favorite step is the coloring step. And I'm gonna move my pegboard but I have a literal barrel of alcohol markers here but these are um, the markers that I use for coloring and then I have some of the best uh, colored pencils this is just a makeshift DIY pencil case so I, I like that but I use I use Prisma oh that's upside down I use Prismacolor Premier pencils. Oh gosh, my camera is like not wanting to focus right now. Focus. Focus. There we go. Prismacolor Premier color pencils. And those are just the pencils I use. I don't I don't use the, my pencils very often. Um, sometimes I use them for just like little highlights or like the backgrounds of cards. Oh gosh, my camera is like completely destroying right now it's going out in and out of focus but I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap over to time-lapse uh, so I while I color the while I color the artwork Actually, one last little thing. I'm just gonna put the number of the card. This is just so I keep track of them. I'm just gonna put the number of the card down in the bottom corner. This is card number four, and it is going in the deck box with the first three cards. So we have the entire so far set out of 50, only four cards made, but.